Welcome to the Edge Market Update for the week ending July 7th. And we had some lighter volume trade this week with the 4th of July holiday. And as funds are uh, shoring up their positions before the big July crop report, which is this upcoming week on July the 12th, where the USDA will give their uh, updated yield estimates. We do have quite a few private analysts coming out estimating a, a lower corn crop. I've seen estimates anywhere between 167 to 175 bushels per acre for the U.S. corn crop. So that will provide some volatility in the trade on this Wednesday. But uh, in regards to this week, starting with new crop corn, we did really exactly what I wanted to see this week, which was to consolidate and stop the bleeding from the uh, sharp sell-off from the seven days prior uh, to the peak when we hit 630. And we did make a new low this week at 485, uh, but we did recover over that to end the week and never really tested it again. So that was good to see. Um, and so we are building a good support foundation right where we're at. And if we do get some bullish news in this USDA report on Wednesday, uh, certainly could see a double bottom forming here um, would have to be confirmed with uh, some closes above the 537 and 547 levels to confirm a bottom could be in place uh, but certainly uh, leading up to the report this looks very good um, and then if we do perhaps lose this support level again after the report obviously um, you know we could see new weakness after after that if price does lose 485 but we did have some lighter volume trade this week after the report on friday strength indicators are making their way back down to very oversold levels we're not extremely oversold but we are pretty weak uh, in regards to strength money flows were very oversold after the sharp sell-off the past uh, 10 days or so but they are kind of turning up higher and if we get some uh, bullish news out of this report uh, certainly could see this travel a lot higher uh, has plenty of room to run in long-term momentum we are trending back towards more of a neutral uh, momentum reading in the long term um, this volatile action has really caused this indicator which typically doesn't move uh, quickly uh, it's caused it to move quicker than normal uh, just with the wide price ranges we've traded in. But going forward to next week, definitely want to see uh, that old low, the 490 hold, and then uh, 485 below that. That would, that would potentially set us up for a double bottom. Um, but again, resistance, uh, we have some here at 521. That's a nine-day moving average, the shortest term moving average we track. Uh, we got the 50-day moving average at 534, and then uh, here we have some resistance lines from prior highs uh, in supports at the 537 to 547 range. So if we could get there and break above, uh, certainly could see uh, a double bottom being formed in new crop corn. We did close the week at 595, and we were down 12 cents on Friday. Moving on to new crop soybeans. Uh, we started the week very strongly. On Monday, we shot up to a new recent high at 1392. Uh, so Friday, we had that good report come in, a lot of bullish action. And then Monday, we had some follow through buying. But uh, when we hit there, we, we pretty much sold off very quickly, uh, tried to gain some momentum again on Wednesday after the 4th, and again was met with profit taking and selling and Thursday and Friday were pretty red days uh, as managed money wanted to reduce their risk heading into this crop report. So we closed at the nine day moving average on Friday at 1318. Uh, we still are trading above this very steep trend line uh, support from the lows in June. Um, that range would be about $13 to 1310 uh, as we go throughout this week. Um, really would like to see that hold to keep the short ter term move intact. Uh, but if we do get below that, really would like to see uh, this 1286 level hold as support. Uh, resistance in the short term is 1338. So would really like to see us get back above there 
and potentially challenge these recent highs again and consolidate up there. Volume was also pretty light on new crop beans this week. Uh, strength indicators were obviously very overbought uh, when we got to this first high. We cooled off and then Monday and Wednesday we traveled back higher as we made a, a higher high on price. But the concern for me is we made a lower high on these strength indicators. So that is creating some negative divergence uh, that needs to be negated if we want to travel higher here. Certainly could be done, but initially uh, that does scre uh, say show some concern for me just paying attention to these indicators. Um, so really would like to get back above at least that 1338 level uh, to try to get out of that negative divergence formed in strength indicators. Money flows were very oversold, uh, became quite strong again, never got to really an overbought level, um, and they're currently peeling back uh, towards a neutral reading to end the week on Friday. And then long-term momentum, we still are in a positive direction here. So uh, certainly if, uh, if no bearish news comes out of that USDA report, even in a neutral reading, um, could definitely see longer term momentum stay above here in a positive territory uh, but again really want to see 1305 to 1310 hold that's that trend line support coming up for this week uh, followed below by 1286 that's kind of do or die support unless if we don't hold there could certainly certainly see us testing that 1250 level where the 50-day moving average is and then 1338 is resistance would really like to see uh, that break out again to challenge these recent highs and um, and keep building from there. Uh, acreage reports are due on July 15th and we need to get acreage reports signed uh, before then and again we have the big crop report on this Wednesday. If you have any questions about uh, your insurance coverages, if you want to see any indemnity examples on revenue or yield payouts, uh, more than happy to do that. But thank you for watching the video and hope you have a great weekend.